everyone. This is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. I have another gift giving idea for you, box making idea. And this one is a cookie box. And it holds those two jumbo cookies. And um, I'm also using, again, the Under the Tree Specialty Designer Series paper love 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 this paper and I don't know how many times I've said it but if you love making boxes you have to have this paper I'm telling you it's the best so I'm going to uh, use it again on this box and this is the Ho holiday home stamp set it's adorable I stamped it with memento ink and I colored this one in with my Stampin' Right markers, used a little bit of glitter and some um, of the crystal effects on the windows so it's really cute. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that on here. My lighting is not that great today so I hope you can see this. Um, it's a really dull day here and one of my lamps broke. So I'm hoping that this turns out okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, let me show you first. Let me show you um, what it looks like and how it opens. So I put a window, of course, because you want to see the cookie. And it opens like that. And I am using Stampin' Up's um, these little clear bags. And these are perfect because they're food safe. Make sure when you put your cookies and stuff in bags that they're food safe and I also put one of our doilies on the bottom and so this is it so let's go ahead and get started I'm just going to tie this up really quick and I'm using one of our little clothes pins which I'm loving these little clothes pins too. It's just holding it in place there, but it just gives it a little bit extra. So the first thing you're gonna do is you are gonna need two pieces of this specialty, specialty designer series paper. These are seven and a half by seven and a half, both pieces. We're gonna score them exactly the same, but we are cutting them differently. And then you'll need four by four piece of window sheet. This window sheet is stamping up, and um, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com to order it right from my shop. Uh, people have asked me where I get the window sheet, and so that's where I get it from. And then I am also the, the, using the two-tone trim. Love this trim. It's so cute. So let me get, grab my trimmer, and let's go ahead and get started scoring these. So I'm going to bring this in just to here and see if you can see it a little bit better. And the first thing that we're going to do, I'm going to use this side for the top this time. I used it for um, the bottom last time, but you can't see it as good, so I wanted to use this one this time. So we're going to score it at one and a half. And make sure you score this a couple times because it's very thick. And then at six and then turn it and score it again at one and a half and at six again. So it's very easy to remember and we're going to score both pieces the same way. This piece one and a half and six and then turn it and one and a half got that at one, one and a half, and six. So that's it for our scoring. And you are going to need your bone folder to fold all your creases because, uh, all your score marks because this paper is very thick and you want your box to look really sharp. So let me do that with both sides. And you can decide which side you want to be your top and which side you want to be your bottom. Let me grab my uh, scissors. This one I'm going to use for the top this time. 
So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut these two corners off here. That one, and then do the same on this side. Okay, and then we're going to just cut up this score mark to this first score mark here. And do that on both sides. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my big shot in and I'm going to have to zoom out a hair for that. Oops, sorry. You just got a really good look at how pretty that paper is. But I'm going to grab the big shot right here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my magnetic. And I think I need to turn it around. Last time I did this, I didn't turn it around. I had a hard time cranking it. I'm going to lay down my magnetic plate. And then I'm going to set this on here. And I'm using the circle framelits. This time I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six, the seventh one from the center of this. And it's going to put a good size. And see how that grabs that? It's so wonderful. So I just eyeball it and try to get it as centered as I possibly can. And why didn't I put my plate there? So you do want to put your plate down first. And I'm going to fold this one over so that I can fit it through. And then just stick my other plate on the on top. And then we'll pull that through. And since this paper is very thick, sometimes I get questions on how to avoid getting that mark. And on this one, you really can't, but it doesn't really show. I mean, I did it on the other one, and it looks really, really nice. So it does show a little bit more on the inside. The outside, it has a little tiny. You can barely see it. So you are going to glue this part to the back. So we're not going to worry about that. So for the... Um, video I'm going to use my snail I'm going to probably use this box but I'm going to go ahead and just use snail on it right now because this is a little bit more involved this box and I'm going to just put some snail on these little tabs here use the sticky strip like I always preach and we are going to fold this part up and match the ends. So this is going to be the top. Now we're going to take our 4x4 four four piece of window sheet and I'm going to just grab a piece of uh, scrap paper because I don't want to get it all over my mat like I normally do and just put snail all the right around the edges. And it's a big enough piece, you can use your snail um, a good amount on there and then just lay it on the inside. So that's the top part. Now for the bottom, we're just going to cut each of these up like you make your basic box. So you'll cut that one and I usually cut there. So just cut up to the first score mark on each one of these. And then we are going to put, and you can you can use the, the green side if you want, just pick what you want to use. Um, it's going to be beautiful anyway. <laughs> so Put sticky strip on each one of these corners. And then just match up your ends. And this is going to be the bottom. So 
So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to stick sticky strip on here and put enough on here. I put three strips on that box that I made and it looks beautiful. So try, make sure you put enough on here and put it close to the top edge and one close enough to the bottom and one in the middle. And then we are going to line it up to the back and then just make sure you have it lined up really good before you seal it with all that sticky strip because it's really going to stick. And then just I'm just going to cut a little bit off of the ends here. You don't have to even do this part. I just like the way it looks. And then your box will close like this. And I'm going to use a one inch circle punch and I'm going to make this easier. Just center this in the middle and do a half, cut half of it out. And so you have your little notch. So it looks real professional with that little notch and it makes it easier for the person to open it up. So you can stick a doily on the bottom. I didn't do very good aligning this up, boy. I wasn't paying attention but um, make sure your hole is lined up I have too much on this side but it's okay we're gonna go ahead with it and um, I'm gonna grab some of my two-tone trim here and tie a bow I'm gonna get enough here to tie a bow You can put a doily in the bottom. The doilies look really cute in the bottom. And what we're going to do is you're going to need a piece of two inch by, I guess, three and a half inch piece of um, white, whisper white. And I'm using the Momento ink because with the Momento ink, um, you can use your blend abilities and I already did one that I colored in because I didn't want you to sit and have to watch me color in but I wanted to show you how it stamps and um, this is all from the same holiday home stamp set it's really really cute and I just put from our home to yours at Christmas time and then there's this little one that looks like little snowflakes. So I just put them randomly. What I did was I just used my two-way glue gun and I just put little dots and then I just used my this glimmer, um, silver glimmer, and it's very, very fine glitter. And okay, let's see. Now I want to um, get my scallop tag topper punch. And that's how I did the top. And I may have put this, yeah, I did. First thing you should do is do your, um, punch your tag first and then stamp it. Cause see, I got through the chimney there. But this, uh, this one I already pre-made and I also used some soft sky with my little um, dauber and I just like daubed around the edges to make it look like the sky was blue and um, I colored this one all in with my blend abilities love the blend abilities and this is the one I'm going to use on this box so what I did here is I just strung it through here because it fits perfectly through there and just tied a bow and let me grab our these are the little um, clothes pins they're so cute and they're the in color printed clothes pins I'm going to use this striped one this time and it'll just hold that in place. 
so that is it I want to show you the stamp set is holiday home because look how cute look at the little Santa with the reindeer and you could put lights on the house and it even has like for Halloween you can use this pumpkin it says happy Halloween happy new home and they've got little ghosts and snowmen it's so adorable I love this little lamp so you're gonna see this again for me for sure because I'm thinking of using this for my Christmas cards this year so anyway that's the project here's the one that I completed before this one I also put um, some glitter on and the crystal effects I hope you enjoyed the project today um, on my way in the holiday series I'm getting into Christmas and I love 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 making stuff for Christmas so you're gonna be starting to see a bunch of Christmas projects so if you need any supplies you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com most of you who follow me already know you can shop right from my blog so have a blessed day everyone and enjoy making the project I'll see you later bye